Radical. So there's been a Miko, an Miko update, an email. I'd go over it, but basically, it's just an email from, was it Dr. Phil or whoever? I'm not sure who wrote that email up. It's basically a stalling email. Not an email about the release of the Amico or when we can see the Amico. It's an email about basically how they're talking to investors on the side. They're in talks with investors to secure some money to go forward with the Amico. I'm sure that's what every, every potential buyer of the Amico wants to hear. You know, that they're basically talking on the side to potential investors. Uh, yeah, let me tell you what's going to happen. If investors actually put any money into buying the Amico brand, I don't think they're coming out with that foot bath thing. All right? They would buy it. They would see if they could sell the IPs to actual systems or something. I don't, I don't know how a lot of that stuff works, admittedly. But I do know if I was buying the Amico, if I was putting money into that, I would scrap all of that. That's a terrible plan. That's not going to sell, okay? It's not going to sell. I would uh, just take it, drop the IPs, maybe Earthworm Jim. I, I don't know if Earth Earthworm Jim is worth that much, though. Like, that's just, unless you were just one of the stupidest investors on Earth, or you felt just, uh, I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Now, I'm uh, going to actually, going to actually be, going to be showing some comments here up under there's this uh, actor person Francois Tremblay and I know I butchered that and everything he had this upload saying here I will write the email I received from in television and I'm so excited they're so excited they're all so excited sorry I could not read it in the video all right so like I said there's no need to read the update it's just a worthless email let's see who's in this comment section of this paid actor for Amico. Literally, he's actually in commercials. He's a paid actor. All right? So let that sink in. Amico, in their uploads, they had a paid actor in their uploads. Uh, Dr. Von Doom, the system is trash. Uh, would you be interested in being interviewed for a documentary about the Amico scam? It's going to be interesting. Like Now, some people actually will say the Amico was a scam from the very beginning, from the get-go, whereas I think most people have the idea that no, 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 no. See, it only became a scam later. They actually had an idea that they wanted to release a console. But I get the argument some people might make that it was a scam from the very beginning. It was what you call a, a long scam, a long con. Uh, let's see here. You forgot to mention, he has also been involved in the Kamiko Chameleon. It's not negativity. It's being responsible with their money. Yeah, this guy in his upload, he talked about how, well, it's hard to listen to his English. But basically how anyone criticizing the Amico, they're just incredibly negative people. And I'm sure there are some people that are, you know, making maybe uh, all these uploads on the Amico that they really don't have anything particularly interesting to say or any views on the Amico. They don't want to have any kind of conversation, but they just are dedicated to the failure of the Amico. And the only thing that would make them happy in life is the failure of the Amico. Now, if that's the case, that's kind of sad. If you're seeing that, and you're seeing somebody incredibly dedicated just to the failure of something because maybe they have uh, a lack in their own life in some way, shape, or form, or they have their own failures, then that's pretty sad. But I think, you know, most people probably, they just want to kind of get the message across to potential investors that, whoa, 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 don't invest in this. This thing is a con, this thing is a scam, this thing is not coming out. But I do get uh, that part of what he's saying here, that uh, there are some people that, well, essentially, they are losers. Yeah, yeah, but, I mean, that's just kind of like a casting aside. Or what do they call that? Um, there's a term for it. Um, I, I know Tommy Tellerico, he called everybody critical of the Amico, just online haters. You know, just trying to sweep them up under the rug. But, you know, I, I get the argument, though. I, I get the concept that there's some people that basically they're putting way too much of their own valuable time into, quote, you know, hating on a gaming toy. You know, but I do get that argument. Uh, this is pretty delusional. 
yeah, a lot of a lot of the people around Amico are very delusional. In fact, we'll see somebody kind of delusional come up here in the comment section in a, in a moment. Uh, it's just not realistic that this thing isn't going to come out, even come out and be a success. So a lot of people are delusional. I mean, it's one thing to be hopeful for something, but no, no. Just say no to negativity. See, this is one where I, I've seen a lot in comment sections. Just say no to negativity. Well, the thing is, you should say yes to criticism and you should say yes to common sense. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of time for positivity. You know, a lot of things we should be positive about. But there's not much around Amico to really be positive about. Uh, work more meat shield. It's okay. The Amico can't hurt anyone. It never sees the light of day. You can't come home now and play the Switch, which is so much better, and you know it's for sale. Yeah, the Switch is for sale currently. You can actually, you know, I mean, if you can find them. I heard somebody said there's shortages on the Switch, or is it just the OLED? Uh, that's a that's a potential. Like, let's say if you can't buy a Switch, for some reason you can't buy a Switch, then the Amico, well, it's not going to be there, but, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Did you get paid to make this video? That's crazy. You can't understand why people are skeptical at this point. And then Francois Tremblay says, I can understand being skeptic, but that's not the what I said. Uh, I only, sorry, full transparency. I didn't get through the whole upload. Maybe the first three minutes. I just wanted to get in this comment section and see what people were writing. Uh, they can do a negotiation, probably a stalling tactic. Yeah, that's what I think. I think that's a stalling tactic. Which is also a part of the long con. Towards the end, you want to squeeze as much hope and money from people as possible until you ultimately have to give up. Notice that the start engine was closed after they realized that the numbers were going down. Because I think it got up to maybe 60, and then it started going down a little bit. Then they closed it. Is that how it works? I mean, I've never donated anything on start engine like a date and 80s e-beggars started their GoFundMes. But, uh, you know, ultimately, I think that's why they stalled it. They stopped it because they just realized, okay, maybe the con's up. We can't get any more from regular people that actually have been on the internet. I've actually checked out these uploads from people trying to uh, speak some sense and truth about the people that are uh, deluded about the Amico. Now, I guess the final phase of the con is to see if they can sell everything off to to some hapless investor or some angel investor or somebody to just buy everything up. Let's see. Oh, here's the guy, Turbo Joe. I'm looking forward to seeing who adopts the Amico project. Adopts? You make it sound like a, a precious child, right? Hmm. Uh, well, would anyone like to adopt maybe a hellacious two-year-old like Terrible Twos for no reason? Yeah, you know, let's say somebody came to your came to your door, and they dropped off a screaming two year old child, and you didn't get to like stay with the mother. Mother's smoking hot, but you don't get to stay with the mother. They just dropped off the child, and said, "Hey, ultimately this is going to be worth it." And, and you're like, "Uh, no, it's okay. I have other options. Like I can adopt other children that uh, won't need this." It's not exactly the the best. Uh, yeah, that's not one of my best or whatever, just admittedly. I don't know. Maybe I'm rushed today. Oh, yes, I am rushed because I have to get ready and go to an actual job and like a lot of YouTubers. But, you know, you get my point. There's better options out there. There's better things to invest in than Amico. Like as if the Amico is the only kind of investment out there. Just like the screaming two-year-old child on your doorstep, you would call the authorities to take that child away. It's like, no thanks. I, I'm fine. Like, I don't need this. Just like you don't need the Amico compared to, you know, the N N Nintendo Switch. But this one in particular, uh, Art Bell stopped by, Turbo Joe. Art Bell is desperate. He wanted me to make some kind of an upload about you, but I, I don't. He says, uh, we're not friends, not pals. I don't really understand why people are not my friend and not my pal. Most of the time, because I'm a very reasonable, reasonable gentleman. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, and Lenovo, the problem with many of the pro Amico fans at this point is they can't seem to accept anything negative that could be said about the product and project as a whole. They even go so far as booting people out of Facebook groups if their opinion differs from positive vibes. 
Imagine at this point, if you have like a YouTube channel or a Facebook group or something like that, and you boot out everything that's not a positive vibe about the Amico. Oh, I see Brett Weiss canceled his television pre-order. Wow, even Brett Weiss is jumping off the train? Well, okay. Unrelated, but this guy was having so much fun playing Moon Control. And when I say playing Moon Control, I, I mean not playing Moon Control. Moon Patrol. He was one of the worst I've ever seen playing video games. But if he's jumping off the, the bandwagon, wow, you know. Who's left on the bandwagon? Is it, is it just Turbo Joe and a couple other people? Who's left at this point? 